in this video we're going to test our motors for our kids okay so here as you can see um, we have our kids um, the left motor and on the right side we have the right motor okay so without further ado let's go on now the thing is um, there is an interesting thing about the DC motors where uh, you know you, you can have this battery right here's a battery over here so you can have these batteries connected to the, your um, motors and you can see them rotate literally okay so first of all we're going to uh, say so it's going backwards right now um, so let's have a look again right now we're going to switch the sides of these wires and put the So it's moving forward now, right? So as you can see, so this is the first motor test done, and uh, let's test the other one here. So here, as you can see, there are two, um, two, uh, two cables. I think it's too close, that's why I can't yet, these two. Now the thing is, um, uh, you can also see the wheel here, right? So the moment we're going to connect them here, these two wires, you'll see it's going backwards, the wheels, right? And the moment we're going to um, rotate these two, you'll see it goes in the other direction, see? It's moving forward now. And just a sec ago what was happening is it was going backwards okay sorry so it's going backwards again so this is the reason why we use um, this thing over here we use um, the HBRIS L293DHF for our kit because we want to control these motors uh, one time going forward or one time going backwards, right? So now if you want to do it manually, so you'll have to change the pol polarities of your um, batteries, right? The power source every time. But since we don't want to do that every time while working, right? So what we do is uh, we have this chip here and you can connect these chips like the power, um, uh, like the sources with the pins and the Arduino and every time you get something, you will be able to to easily um, you know control your um, motors okay so um, that is the reason for this video guys I hope um, you understood the basics of how to control the DC motors thank you so much for watching guys